Glad to be here. Uh, I'm Darren. I'm 27 years of age. Uh, I spend a lot of time at home watching 24-hour news. I like 24-hour news because at 2 a.m. they just sort of like give up. <laughs> it's obese kids or ISIS. <laughs> That's so much ISIS on late night news. Like ISIS, IS, ISIS, IS, ISIS, 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 ISIS. They say it so often. The other day, a news reporter said the words Al Qaeda. And I hadn't heard it in so long, I reacted the same way I do when I see a payphone. I was like, oh, they're still around. <laughs> hey! Good to see you, fellas. Uh, the reason I mention it is, right, my favorite story of last year, right? The CIA, they released what they found in Bin Laden's cave. What they found was Al Qaeda application forms. Yeah. Genuinely true, Bin Laden did paperwork, right? Now, what made this really hilarious to me was these application forms looked identical to every job I've ever had in retail, right? <laughs> they wanted to know previous employment, what your parents do, hobbies and interests, music tastes, right? Only at the bottom were you reminded that this is something sinister, right? They asked you this one question right at the bottom, and it went, are you planning on executing a suicide mission? <laughs> yeah, serious. <laughs> what they should have done is got rid of that question entirely and just asked a trick question. Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that. It's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> when you hear terrorist jokes coming from someone with this beard. Um, <laughs> no, because you don't know what side I'm on. Now, <laughs> my name, right, is Darren Harriot. And Harriot is spelled H A R R I O T. It's Scottish, right? Whenever I tell people that, the first thing they say is, you don't look Scottish. <laughs> hey, you're on the ball, aren't you? Hey? I don't mind that. The problem is, I always feel the need to say, well, what do I look like then? And that used to be fun. <laughs> now my feelings get hurt, right? I was at a bar trying to chat this lady up, right? Hitting her with all my smooth moves, right? I told her, man, oh, yeah, it's Scottish. She went, you don't look Scottish. I went, what do I look like then? She stood there and she went, you look like... You converted to Islam in prison? <laughs> That's mean. Why can't I convert in a library? Um, I'm a big rap music fan, right? Uh, I love, love rap music. I'll tell you the weirdest time in rap music ever, right? It was during the first Barack Obama presidential campaign because all my, like, favorite gangster rappers, you know, guys who rap about hardcore stuff, they were so excited about possibly having the first black president. What they were all doing in their songs was they would rap, stop, urge you to vote, and then just continue rapping <laughs> as if nothing ever happened. I've got CDs at home where you listen to it, and out of nowhere, all you hear is, yo, 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 let me talk for a minute. Vote Obama, y'all. You black, he black. Just vote Obama, y'all. Think of your kids. Think of your kids, kids. Everybody, it's a beautiful thing. Let's make history. Just vote Obama. Smack bitches with my dick. Smack bitches with my dick. I don't know much about this Obama guy, but smacking bitches with his dick sounds more like a Bill Clinton policy. <laughs> Guys, you have been amazing. I've been Darren Harriet. Thank you very much. Cheers.